Hi, in this presentation, I'm going to show you how to turn a PowerPoint into an Adobe Spark video online presentation. So I have a PowerPoint here. It's the garden PowerPoint. First thing I'm going to do is convert this to a set of JPEG files. So I'm going to open the file. And then I'm going to enable it. OK. I'm going to do File, Save As. I'm going to save it into my same folder. And instead of saving it as a PowerPoint, I'm going to go down and save it as JPEG file. Click Save. And it asks you, do you want to do all the slides? Yes. So now each slide has been saved in that folder. Let me get rid of PowerPoint here. Don't save it. Each slide has been saved in a folder called Garden, and they are JPEG files. Now I'm going to have to go into Spark. So let me move this out of the way a little bit. Spark. Adobe.com, and I'm already logged in. You will have to create an account for Spark, just an Adobe account. Uh, I'll skip notification. Now I'm going to create a <coughs> new presentation as a video. Okay, I'm going to skip the introduction part here. And then I'm going to go all the way to the end and click Make Up My Own as the type of video that I want to create. That way you're not using the built-in templates. OK, I'm going to skip the tutorial. And this is your basic screen. You can add media here. <coughs> and you can set various options for the display. You can add some music, and you can vary the themes if you're adding just images. OK, so I'm going to add a new image first, and that's here. So I'm going to drag my first image from the folder into this, into Adobe Spark. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Now, to add a second slide to this, I click plus, And now I'm going to drag a second slide in. And I'll add a third slide, because this one has an image on it. Now I'm going to stop there, but you should go ahead and use all of the slides that you have in your presentation. So my slides are into Adobe Spark. Now I'm going to add some narration. So I'm going back to the first slide. And to add narration, I've plugged in a microphone. And I'm going to hold the microphone button down. And I'm going to say something about this slide. OK, so I'm going to hold it down and say, welcome. This presentation is going to teach you some tips for starting your first garden. And then I let go, and it, oops, you know what happened. I didn't allow it to use my microphone. So let me try that again. I click the button, and I have to tell it allow to use my microphone. Let's continue on now. Welcome. This presentation is going to teach you some tips for starting your first garden. Then I let go. Now I'm going to move on to the second slide. <clears throat> I'm going to just read a couple of these. It's not a good idea to read slides in a presentation like this, but I'll let you do your own narration. So click the button. So why should we plant a vegetable garden? Well, one reason is to save money. 
because the vegetables don't really cost anything after you've grown them yourself. Another reason is to grow healthy food. And finally, you can enjoy a rewarding activity. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So, what should you plant? Well, a couple of characteristics are you should start small and choose vegetables you like. Okay, this is my presentation now. I can have it be full screen. I could select split. If I go back here to the beginning, click split, and it's going to leave room for a text or or a photo over here. Click screen. I'm going to leave it as full screen. Let's add a little bit of music here. Bringing change and I'm going to turn the music down. Click add my music. Oh, don't have to do that. I don't have any music. So, leave bringing change. And let's preview it. Welcome! This presentation is going to teach you some tips for starting your first garden. So why should we plant a vegetable garden? Well, one reason is to save money, because the vegetables don't really cost anything after you've grown them yourself. Another reason is to grow healthy food. The last thing I'm going to do is share my presentation. You'll notice that the uh, music is a little loud on that second slide. I think I would go back and adjust the level on the second slide. <clears throat> Click Share. Give it a title like My Garden. Okay, a category. You have to pick a category. I'll call this one Educational. No subtitle. And I'm just going to take my last name off. And finally, I'm going to click Create Link. It takes a few minutes to create the link because it's actually incorporating the music and the video effects into the online presentation. <clears throat> but once it's finished, you'll get a link that you can share you can type this into a discussion board or something like that. So hopefully it will finish up here in a second. So, this is the link that it gave us. It's on adobespark.com. And if I copy that link and go into a new tab, paste it in, <clears throat> and copy, try that again. And there's my garden. And it shows up here. You can play it. Welcome. This presentation is going to teach you some tips for starting your first garden. So why should we plant a vegetable? Okay. So that's uh, basically how you can make a Spark video from a PowerPoint presentation.